This is our Forex blog for September 2, 2016, and I like to go over uh, the results of the trades for the week, and then I'll show you some examples. Keep in mind, this is how I've been doing the stats for two years. I don't want to keep multiple sets of stats, so each day I fix some of the trades that uh, have not performed well in the past, and I will add some new patterns, and then at the end of the day, I keep these stats. So here's Friday, uh, four, 564 pips. The average loss, 6.19, and as you can see, about 70% winning. 21 pip average win. Thursday, fewer trades, but 466 pips. The average loss is only five, and the average win, especially since there's a couple of huge wins right here, is 24. It's almost five times bigger wins than losses, about 55% winning on that day. Wednesday, uh, probably about equal number of wins and losses and only made 55 pips. You know, it was a tough day. A lot of trades uh, that have performed well in the past did not work that day. And because they did so well in the past, I left them alone, didn't fix them. So they're, they're here, 7.9 uh, pips, average loss, and the wins uh, are 12. So it's a little bit lower. Most of the wins were real tiny, a couple 25 plus pip wins. And you can see there was more losers than winners. Uh, here is, looks like Tuesday, I guess, 281 pips. A nice winning percentage that day, 8.9 pip average loss, and the wins, 19.1 pips. And just so uh, people can see, when I bring up the trades each day, uh, it lets me see how many possible of variables I store about 45, or sorry, about 75 different uh, variables for each trade. This one has 10 that might be out of bounds. And so, you know, this trade right here, 4.622, it made money, so I wouldn't fix that one. This one right here, index 824, it's only had two trades in the past. Both of those two trades worked. This one right here uh, had 22 trades in the past, 351 pips net in the past. Uh, the average trade made 15.96 pips, which is really huge. Anything over five is I try not to touch that pattern. 68% winning, and the wins are 3.58 times bigger than the losers. And so I see this when I bring it up each day, and it also lets me know if a particular trade has more than one trade. This particular one had three trades for a total of 67 pips for the day. 248, you can see it's again right here, and again here. So 11, 22, and 32, it shows me there. And if there, in the past, there's been trades that have had four or five losing trades in the, in the same day, and I will make sure to go through those with a fine tooth comb, compare them to the past trades, and any of the values that might be out of whack that show up and are highlighted in yellow. I will quickly see if one of those I can add a, another rule or two to get rid of today's loss while keeping most of the past wins uh, alive. And that's why you know the the system is improving so much uh, each week. Here's the Australian dollar. You can see a nice little uh, 20 to 30 pip win here, about a 10 pip win there, 30 or 40 pip win there. Previous day, there wasn't any trades. Australian yen, nice little 40, 30 or 40 pip win there. Previous day, 20 pips, 8 pip loss. Here's the euro dollar. It was in a trade here where you pretty much broke even at the end of the day. Uh, a 40 pip win here, 8 or 10 pip loss there. No other trades. The previous day, there was only one trade, about 10 pips. Pound. You can see a nice little win, win, win. Uh, early in the day, win, win. Very small loss. It got long here. Almost got stopped out and eventually got stopped out here. Probably less than 6 pip loss. Previous day, you can see a 10 or 15 pip win there. And earlier in the day, just a... Uh, about a five pip win there, huge win right here. And let me just show some of the other currency pairs. Here's the dollar CAD, nice little win, loss, loss. Uh, 10, 15 pip win here, 20 pip win. Previous day, five pip win, 10 pip loss, 10 pip win. Here's the dollar Swiss. Not sure if it had that many good trades, but five or eight pip loss there. 10 pip win here, 30 pip win. Previous day, no trades. 
town yen. This one in the past has been a really hard one to get to be profitable. And um, you can see on Friday, small little win here, small loss. Not too many, you know, not too many trades that day. 10 pip win there. Small win. Huge win earlier in the day. Probably about uh, over 100 pips, actually, it looks like. Here's the Euro Yen. Be the last one I show. About a 10 pip win here. 30 pip win. Small 10 pip loss. Probably 5 pip win. 10 or 12 pip loss. Previous day, 10 pip loss. Only one trade. And that's it for this week's Forex blog. I just want to showcase how our systems are improving each week. And, um, you know, I have really good strategies and methods for fixing problem patterns each week. And because I've done this for the last two years, I, you know, new patterns I create tend to work much better in the future than my earlier ones.